Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do some uh, basic uh, Mukito 2 verification. So in the previous lesson, we cover basic stubbing in Mokito. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do basic verification, which is another fundamental um, feature that any mocking framework supports. So before showing the test, let me just show you the actual, um, you know, simple domain objects that I've got here. So I've got here a, um, you know, very simple library service that provides a, you know, a very simple service which you know in this particular case it just has book with ID so you know think of it as a service um, that is implemented in terms of a DAO object and uh, as you can see here the only, the only method that this service is providing is whether you know a book identified by unique ID is present in the library um, and uh, this service, uh, like I said, utilizes a DAO to, um, you know, fetch books, um, you know, off of a database. So the idea here is to show you um, a typical case where you have a service, for example, that implements, or an object that implements, uh, you know, some service in terms and utilizes other objects. Uh, neighbors to to you know to, to do its work and the DAO is the object that we would like to um, mock and then verify you know some um, uh, method calls so um, we're going to be um, testing the uh, library service we're going to be mocking the DAO and notice that this method has book with ID calls the fetch book by ID on the DAO and uh, you know basically this is the method that we would like to verify that it's got called so if you look at the um, actual uh, very simple um, verification test you know this is basically uh, you know what you would do so essentially you would mock the uh, which is call mock you pass the um, class of the um, object that you want to mock, in this case is the DAO, so recall that's the DAO object that we want to mock. Um, and then after you get the mock, you basically are going to verify, so just call verify on the mock, that the method, you know, fetch book with ID, with any int, has actually been called. So verification, verifies that the method on this uh, mock um, you know this method has been called but because this method contains an argument ID we have to use what's called a argument matcher to verify that not only the method was called but it was called in this case with any int okay so that means that when I actually run my test okay um, this test will pass if and only if two things happen. Firstly, the method on my DAO fetch book by ID is invoked and it's invoked with any int. Let's um, you know invoke this, uh, run this method and see what we get. So as you see, the method passes. Um, you know because obviously the um, you know the Java guarantees that this method, um, you know, is called if it's invoked, it's invoked with any int. So, for example, let's say that um, you know, um, let's use another type of uh, matcher. Um, for example, any boolean, and notice that uh, I already have a uh, compilation error because there is already you know a static type and that it's happening here. So. Um, one other thing that I can show you here is, for example, notice that the DAO has actually two um, methods. So fetch book by title. So let's try to verify the behavior on the fetch book by title method as well. And obviously here you want any string and see what we've got. 
So notice that now I have a failure and uh, the failure, let's read what the failure says. So it's telling me that the um, I was expecting that the fetch book by title method would be invoked, right? But um, it actually, uh, you know, was never invoked. Okay. Moreover, it, it tells us that you know the fetch book by ID uh, was uh, you know actually invoked. So um, you know, and let's uh, change the order of these calls and see what we've got. So notice that again, you know. Um, we can make a, a more strict, um, you know, verifications in, the f you know, in an advanced lesson that's called strict mocking. But notice that, um, you know, all of the verifications are 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 being, uh, you know, uh, verified or validated, I should say. So even though the first one fails, it still Mokito still continues to verify the other ones, and that's why we have this composite or you know this complete, uh, you know. Um, messages, one that tells us the ones that failed and the ones that passed. So this is how you do it, a very simple 101 uh, verification in a Mokito tool. Um, I am Nilton from craftofprogramming.com. Thanks for watching.